it be okay if I shared with you how to get out of the bunker every time in one shot? Most people struggle with getting out of the bunker consistently or even hit it with finesse to get it close to the hole. So most people would be quite happy getting the ball out of the bunker successfully in, inside a reasonably distance every single time. So I was playing on the golf course the other day with one of my clients called Darren. And we got to a bunker shot and he said to me, and we hadn't looked at bunkers before, he said to me, I'm really poor at bunker shots. I'm happy just to get it out. So we shared with him a very simple process, a few step process that made a huge difference to him. And now he gets out the bunker every single time. The next step will be to finesse it up a little bit so he can get it closer to the hole even more so and start to get up and down even more often. But he's already extremely happy with the results and it's made a difference to his game straight away with no practice needed. So I'm gonna share with you just now the simple steps to go through to make you very successful out of a bunker shot with a really simple process that's gonna get you out every single time onto the putting green. So for me, this is the simplest way to play bunker shots. And I have a few different ways I would teach people to play bunker shots. But today is the real simple process to get you out of the bunker every single time successfully and control the flight and the distance to some degree. So in this bunker here, I've got this yellow stick just to show ball position. That's the main thing we're gonna be changing. I'm using my sand iron on my most lofty club. This is a 58 degree wedge. So I would recommend 56 to 60 degrees. Anything in that area would work absolutely fine. The more loft, the higher softer shot, obviously the less loft, the lower, further distance you're gonna achieve naturally. And again, playing this same technique, changing your clubs down to a pitching wedge is gonna make you go further. But obviously for a short shot like I've got here today, the most lofted club is gonna be the most appropriate. In terms of bounce, use a club with a decent amount of bounce. Most wedges these days will be between eight and 14 degrees of bounce. Anything around there with decent technique will work. So you don't have to be too precise with knowing, oh, I've got a 14 degree bounce. Just have something with bounce on. That's gonna make a difference for you. So quite simply, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a wide stance, okay? Just outside shoulder width apart. We're gonna stand our distance away as if we've got a driver on our hand. So we're not stood close and tight like a little chip shot, like a driver, so it's quite tilted, quite squatted, arms relaxed and away from the ball. And what we're gonna do is move the ball forward in the stance to the front third. And we're gonna keep the face square. And then we're just gonna hit the ball out like a normal golf shot. We're gonna try and hit the sand behind the ball, about three inches. So our focus or our eyes should be here. Otherwise, everything else stays pretty much the same. One more subtle setup change, sorry. Just a bit more weight on the lead foot, about 60%. But don't open the face, keep the face square. This is the real simple method. Stare behind the ball and go and play it like you would do a little pitch shot. So stand like a driver, wide stance, weight forward, face square. And pitch it like a pitch shot. I'm pretty happy with that shot, you know. It's about two foot away, pulled it slightly left. If I look at my divot in the sand here, which I can see, my divot went slightly left, so I cut across that a tiny bit. The amount of about two feet, which is acceptable for me. But if I was stood here and trying to work on my bunker technique, I would do that more and more and more and more. And I would adjust it and maybe look at my aim there as well. So that's the simple version of the technique. And this is what helped Darren make a huge difference to his game straight away. So I hope you've enjoyed that lesson on the bunker technique, the simple bunker technique, the simple process. Recap those processes for you. Wide stance, standard driver with the way. Wait on the lead foot, move the ball forward, play a normal shot. The longer the swing, the more energy, the more power, the more you can hit the ball further. Stare at the sand three inches behind the ball and try and hit that sand three inches behind the ball, but play it like a normal shot. A lot of people, when they start opening the face and standing open, get a lot of misalignments with the path and strike patterns, so the ball comes out a bit skew if. Give this a go, and let me know down below how you get on. Also, chat, ask any questions, requests for videos, I welcome them. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video. And also, please follow or subscribe. Look forward to seeing you back here real soon. Enjoy your golf.